2.4 kilogram 20 centimeter diameter turntable rotates at 100 RPM on frictionless bearings. Two 400 gram blocks fall from above, hit the turntable simultaneously at opposite ends of a diagonal and stick. What is a turntable's angular velocity and RPM just after this event? Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a quick little picture. So we have a turntable and they say the radius is 20 centimeters, so 0.2 meters. So our mass is 2.4 kilograms. Our radius, we just said is 0.2 meters. And our om omega initial is 100 RPM. Now normally I would convert this to standard units, which is radians per second, but in this case I'm going to hold off just because I'm going to show you something in just a minute. Okay, so then we have our same turntable with a radius of 0.2, and they say on the diagonal, which doesn't really matter where we place our diagonal, we have two blocks fall from above, simultaneously hit it and stick and keep going, whatever. Okay, so those, since they're on a diagonal exactly opposite ends, those radiuses are also all 0.2. All right, so since this is conservation of momentum, normally we would use the mv plus mv equals mv, yada, yada, so on, right? But that's for linear. In this case, since we're talking with about angular conservation of momentum, I or m equivalent is I, or a moment of inertia, and v, the equivalent of that is, of course, omega. So we'll have I omega for the turntable equals I omega final for the turntable plus we have two blocks fall from the top. So we have two times I omega final for the blocks. And in this case, we can say it's two because they have the exact same mass, they have the exact same speed, they have the exact same radius and everything. So essentially this term is identical. All right, but we have two omega finals and that's no bueno. So we need to do something about those. But since they're sticking to the turntable, they will essentially have the exact same omega or angular velocity as the turntable. So we can treat omega final for the turntable and omega final for the blocks as the same thing. So now that gives us I omega initial plus, uh, whoops, equals I omega for the turntable equals I omega final, actually, so I for the turntable plus 2I for the blocks times omega final. All right, so that is our final equation that we're going to use. Well, I guess we need to isolate um, omega final, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll divide we'll divide both sides of the equation by i plus 2i for the blocks those cancel out divide this side of the equation by i plus 2i for the blocks and that equals omega final so let's go ahead and rewrite that just a little bit nicer looking and change color so we have omega omega final is equal to I omega initial for the turntable all over I for the turntable plus 2I for the blocks. Okay, so now what I was talking about earlier, when I was talking about that 100 RPMs, we should convert that to radians per second, right? But if you think about this, let's just conceptually, what we end up with is we have an i times an omega on the top plus 
we're going to add all these together and end up with another i value for the bottom. So both of our i's will cancel out, leaving us with just the units for omega. So what that says is whatever units we put in there for omega is the units the equation will spit out. So like I said, it's safer, and just be careful, don't do this if it doesn't cancel out like this. Whatever we put in, it's going to kick out, and we want RPMs at the end of the problem, so I'm going to leave it as RPMs just because it saves a little bit of time. So we have, let's just plug everything in. I'll do it over here. So omega final is equal to 1 half mr squared for the turntable times omega initial all over 1 half mr squared plus 2. Now when I um, took this class it was really confusing for me which uh, moment of inertia I should use. It was pretty obvious that hey if I have a circle, a disc, a, you know whatever spinning I'm going to use a 1 half mr squared. But it was harder for me on this problem to see that I need to use just the mr squared. The reason is, is these blocks, we're treating them as point masses. And the, f the formula or equation for point masses is just mr squared. So that's why we have the difference of these two. So now when we plug in the values, omega final is equal to 1 half times the mass of the block, which was 2.4 kilograms times its radius of 0.2 meters squared, and that times 100 RPM. And that is all over 1 half 2.4 kilograms times 0.2 meters squared plus 2 times the mass of the blocks, which is 0.4 kilograms times their radius, which is also 0.2 squared. All right, so when we plug everything in, on the top, we end up with 4.8. And on the bottom, we end up with 0 0.08. So when we do that, 4.8 divided by 0 0.08 gives us 60 RPMs. So again, since we put in RPMs, the equation spit out R RPMs, which is what we want, and 60 is our final answer.